Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com and we are talking about Vital Tantra and the topic for this video is uh, Vital Tantra anchored in uh, the future. Here's what happens with uh, spiritual traditions. Very often when you start tapping in a tradition, the goal will be to kind of duplicate something that already happened in the past, that is already present in human consciousness. You might have um, you know, teachers, gurus, masters, groups uh, practicing a certain set of techniques and you are going to go into an ashram or a monastery or a spiritual center and then integrate the practices that already exist. So I've been doing that a lot in the past, okay? I've been uh, in the mystery school for 12 years, actively teaching and engaged into these practices. And what we were doing in, in this in this school, in this system, was gathering techniques that already exist or discovering new ones and actualizing in today's world, which is perfect, okay? It was very powerful and I encourage you to, uh, you know, to explore this way of doing it if that's what you feel attuned to. But there is something else that is very important. It is that just duplicating something that already happened in the past is not enough. What we need to do now as human race is also tune into what we could be a thousand years from now. Means What this means is that we need to invent new forms. We need to actualize what we do as spiritual beings and bring that into present life. So what that means is that there is a high dimension of futurism in uh, what I'm teaching right now. I am actively anchoring myself and my practices into something that drives me towards the future rather than towards the past. Eventually, past, present, and future totally dissolve and it becomes just one continuum line of energy. We have the power to access the past and we have the power to access the future as well. One of the core shifts or evolutionary moments in my own evolution has been when I enter into uh, the pyramid of Egypt, right? The great pyramid there. So um, after that, something happened in, in the journey that I was on, which was realizing that a lot of what we are doing now within the Vital Tantra system is downloading or accessing the new evolutionary codes for the planet and humankind. And this happens with the guidance or the help of an energy reality, which is the goddess Isis. So very often when you think of gods and goddesses, uh, they are in this personified form. But I'm talking about an energy reality which is much vaster than that. On top of that, I'm not talking about something that happened in Egypt thousands of years ago. That was one expression at a given time. The energy that I'm connecting with right now, that I'm bringing into the picture, and that is guiding a lot of the evolutionary path I'm on, I call that energy e c sa e c sa So e c sa represents the actualized form of the goddess Isis. So activating that energy reality inside of me was a process that took me, I would say probably one to two years, visiting different places, different secret spots around the world. And I was being guided internally. It has a lot to do with the connection with the, the sun as a solar deity, as an intelligence, and getting into my system, into what I'm transmitting, like a ray of the sun coming and touching my being and touching planet Earth and from there uh, spreading around the world and creating the new codes for uh, the planet and humankind. So 
this idea about needing a new program for us as human beings is very powerful and very strong and it's very anchored in the core of my beliefs. It means that when we were born as a human race on this planet, we received a certain way of doing things. And uh, a lot of this comes from animal instincts. Now, a few million years later, we have been evolving and we are upgrading this program constantly. It means that we are receiving new downloads, we are receiving new ways of thinking, new belief systems, and we are expanding our consciousness accordingly. So I feel, I believe that my job is to tune into these codes of evolutionary codes for the planet and humankind and uh, integrate them first into my system and then uh, transmit that. And those codes are not that complicated, okay? They have to do with the way we treat our bodies, the way we treat each other, uh, the way we relate to the planet and humankind, and uh, our targets as a human race. And um, you will notice when you hear me talk more about this, that it's actually very instinctual, and most of those codes are beliefs that you have yourself. The challenge that we face is that we are, you know, in conflict sometimes with our human nature or instinctual nature, and uh, we might do things that are not in accordance with our uh, greatest uh, potential as a human being. For instance, if you do something that is self-destructive for yourself, for nature, or for the rest of humankind, eventually we enter into a pattern which is self-destructive, and uh, we might, uh, that might lead to a very strong uh, disturbance in the field force that we live in. So examples of self-destructive patterns are uh, overeating, for instance, or eating junk food, or smoking, you know, things that have to do with hurting your, your own body. Other ones have to do with being intolerant to other people, to other beliefs, to other religions. Another one has to do with cutting too many trees on this planet, you know, polluting the environment. Uh, so there are lots of things that we need to do as human race to optimize our life on this planet. And this is what we are focusing on. And just tuning into the past, for me, that's not good enough. There is something which is pulling us forward and moving us into the future. And we need to bring in uh, the, the mindsets that are going to help us become uh, more successful than we are, both as human beings, as individuals, and also as a human race. That's the message for today. Have fun. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.